Good morning. Lorena Carr here for Daily Vibe Check. It is Tuesday, May 18th. And we're going to see what Spirit wants us to know for the day to get us through. And what can we expect? What can we anticipate? Okay, well, we'll start with that. That's the second time this week that's happened. All right. Let's start with the first two cards. Yikes. Allergies. Sorry. Um, ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is um, that sense of bearing the burden of something, like carrying everything on your back. And you see how the ox is just working really hard carrying everything. And she's loaded down too. So it's that feeling of making that long journey with everything on your back and, and having to do everything so while it might feel overwhelming at times you've got the nine of pentacles so clearly you're doing this because there's some reward in it and sometimes it's hard to see the reward when we're in the middle of it when our back's starting to hurt from carrying everything but just know that that your goal or what you you are working towards is that is that enjoying the fruits of your labor so it's when you put a lot of work into something and you finally are able to be rewarded for it um okay okay so actionable step is the ten of swords that's interesting so Ten of Swords is an irrevocable ending. So something's coming to an end. And this, I feel like this kind of ties in with yesterday's reading where there was a shock and pain of something ending, someone around you or some situation around you is just super negative and not following through, trying to change the rules of the game halfway through kind of thing. And then, um, you know, clearing everything out, but then also realizing that once you clear everything out, you can then accept abundance and get things coming towards you, right? So in order, like if you've been, you know, you've been, maybe you, you know, you were bearing the, bearing the load, you were carrying a pretty heavy load, maybe you were doing too much um, in order to get paid. And so you could so you could have nice things so you could you know pay your bills um do what you need to do and or maybe in relationship you were carrying the load like you were you were the one saying okay yeah we have issues so let's go to therapy let's do this i'm putting in the work you're doing self-improvement you're trying to do everything to to do you know and, and in the end like you're feeling better about yourself and you are reaping the rewards of being a more positive person and 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 or maybe you're you're seeing things differently and sometimes that realization requires an irrevocable ending so let's pull the celebrate card see what we're going to celebrate with this ending what's this ending going to get us what's what's the irrevocable ending going to get us what what are we celebrating? <clears throat> faith. So when this irrevocable ending happens, we have to have faith that that things are going to work out because I, this card is so positive. It's so positive. And, and you have to have faith that this will continue, that the work that you've put in, the, the load you have carried will get you through. Have faith in that. Um, have faith in your guides, have faith in your angels. They know what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, let's find, oh, I'll pull a, let's do a sacred destiny Oracle card. Um, so one of my new, I got a new deck. Well, I've got a few new decks this weekend. <laughs> All right, let's see. What? Happiness. I cannot stress this enough. We are not sent here to be miserable. We're here to learn lessons, but ultimately we have to figure out how to be happy. Um, and you have to have faith that, that if with, with whatever this irrevocable ending is, you have to have faith 
that that spirits ultimately got happiness as the goal. Um, and if you were in a again toxic relationship, then ultimately how are you going to be happy? You have to have faith that by making this move, by taking this leap of faith, by just saying, all right, you know what? I've done everything I can. I've put it all out there. I've been the best person I can be for what I know how. I have to have faith that the universe is steering me towards something bigger and better. Um, that is that is better for me. And, and just embrace that journey. Just embrace that, that you you know in order to be happy you have to have faith have faith in the system with the spirit guides um they will not steer you wrong and only we steer ourselves wrong so that's a pretty awesome message um so it's a short one today pretty pretty much to the point um so yeah so like subscribe all the good things if you want to know when i upload videos um make sure you hit the little bell on there so next to the subscribe so you'll get notifications it's not obnoxious by any means but you'll get a notification that i've uploaded something and just kind of see how it goes and uh, if you if you're new to my channel welcome and you know go back and look at some of the old videos to see maybe like last week's videos just see kind of how things aligned with what kind of day you had and see if the overall vibration because they're not exact predictions like oh my gosh your relationship is ending you're totally getting a divorce no, it's not like that. There's just in in some cases there's an ending to this in order to make room for a new beginning. Um, looking at just overall vibration. Huh, so there's that. All right. Um, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you watching, and feel free to comment as well. Let me know how things are playing out for you, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.